guys, you're welcome to Lisa Masuji's channel. My name is Amaka. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe. It's free. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make a 360 degree circle skirt. It's going to have lining inside. And I'm also going to show you how you can make it without lining. So let's get started. Now, my waist circumference is 26 inches. 26, 26 inches plus 2 inches zipper allowance gives you 28 inches. So the waist circumference I'm working with is 28 inches. Now, the length of the skirt is 19 inches plus 1.5 inches allowance, which I'm going to use 1 inch to hem the skirt and half inch to join the band to the skirt gives you 20.5 inches now 20.5 inches my band length is 2 inches I'm going to minus my band length from the skirt length the band length is 2 inches so 20.5 inches minus 2 inches gives you 18.5 inches so the skirt length I'm working with is 18.5 inches now I'm going to I'm going to find my waist radius now for me to get my waist radius I'm going to divide the waist circumference by 6.28 because it's going to be a full circle skirt so 28 divided by 6.28 gives you 4.45 but I'm going to make it 4.5 instead so the waist radius I'm working with is 4.5 inches now whatever your waist circumference is Divide it by 6.28. Whatever it gives you, that's your waist radius. So, now my waist, my waist radius is 4.5. While, um, while the length of the skirt I'm working with is 18.5 inches. So, 4.5 inches plus 18.5 inches gives you 23 inches. My fabric is folded into four. I folded it into two and I'm going to fold it again into four. So my fabric is folded into four. Now I'm going to start by taking my waist second, my waist radius. Now for you to know if your fabric will be enough, the, the, the length of the, the length I'm using, I'm working with is 23 inches. Now this fabric is exactly 23 inches. And when you measure it from here, is also 23 inches now I'm going to start by measuring I'm going to start by taking my waist radius now my waist radius is 4.5 inches I'm going to measure 4.5 inches from here So this is my waist radius. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to measure the skirt length. If I'm measuring from here, I'm going to measure 23 inches. But if I'm measuring from here, I'm going to measure 18.5 inches. It's still the same thing. But I'm going to measure from here. So I'm going to measure 23 inches. This is exactly 23 inches. So I'm going to connect it.
so now if i measure i'm going to cut off this part if i measure from here to here i have 23 inches but if i measure from here to here i have 18.5 inches which is my skirt length this is the skirt length i'm going to cut it I'm also going to cut here. So I've cut it. After cutting, this is what I have. The same way I've cut this, I'm also going to cut the lining. But the only difference is that the lining is going to be two inches shorter than the main fabric. So I'll do it and show you. So I'm going to cut this open. Now this is it. I've opened it. I'm also going to open the lining. So this is it. Now this is the lining. I'm going to keep it aside. If you want to sew your skirt without lining, this is how you do it. Now this is my band. This is my band. My band is the actual length of this band is 5 inches, 5 inches. Now, but I'm going to fold in this allowance. Now, this is half inch here and half inch here. That is one inch allowance. Now, when I fold my band into two like this, I have two inches. So, the length of my band is two inches. Now, take note, I've ironed interfacing on my band. I didn't iron it. I didn't iron it on the allowance. I only ironed it here. So now this is what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to show you how to how to sew your skirt without lining. Now after after cutting your skirt, now this is what you do. You bring your band. When you bring your band, you you attach your band to your skirt, right side facing right side, just like this. Now remember to leave half inch allowance here half inch allowance here and you sew from here you sew with half inch allowance all around now when you come back you will come back to this point you fold it like this okay let me illustrate with pin now when you take this to your sewing machine you're going to sew with half inch allowance just like this You sew with half inch allowance. Now, after sewing with half inch allowance all around, you're going to place the right side facing right side. You sew with half inch allowance. You sew all around. Now, after sewing, you're going to come to this point. Remember that you left half inch here. Now you're going to fold this part like this. Now when you fold this part, you sew it. Let me also pin it. Let me show you. Let me illustrate with pin. Now you pin it. You pin it. That is when you take it to your sewing machine. You're also going to sew this allowance. After sewing this allowance, then you turn it like this. You turn it, push this out. 
you turn it this way now you see what you have here this is how this place is going to be then this allowance you have here you are going to fold it in again and you push in this allowance push in this allowance and you fold this and place it on top of your you place it like this now you take it to your sewing machine and you sew now you're going to sew in between the band and the skirt you're not going to sew it on top of the band so that it will not show you do it in such a way that the thread will not show on the band and it will not show on the skirt so you're going to sew in between the band and the skirt now as you're sewing as you're sewing it will be catching here it will be this side will also be it will be catching here so that's how to sew it after sewing the band you will hem your skirt and you attach your zipper now for me to attach my lining the first thing I'll do is to hem my skirt. I'm going to hem the down parts. I'm going to hem here. I'm going to hem here and also hem the main fabric. Then after hemming, after hemming, I'm going to place my lining on the main fabric, right side facing right side. I'll place it right side facing right side, just like this. And I'll sew here with one quarter of an inch and also sew this part with one quarter of an inch. Now, after doing that, I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn it, I'm going to turn my skirt this way. I'm going to turn it and now sew and sew the, the waist with one quarter of an inch. I'm going to join the main fabric with the lining with one quarter of an inch. After sewing here and sewing the waist, I'm now I'm going to attach the band. When I attach the band, I'm going to fix my zipper and now sew down, sew my skirt down. So I'll do it and show you. Now, after hemming the main fabric and the lining, I placed the main fabric and the lining right side facing right side, and I stitched the both sides. I stitched here and also stitched here now after doing that i turned it i now turned it and stitched here i stitched here i joined the lining and the main fabric together and stitched it now after that i ironed here i ironed here and here very well and also ironed the hem now after that, I now attached the band. Now this is the band. I've attached the band. I, I placed the band right side facing right side. Now this is it. And I stitched it with half inch seam allowance. Now after that, I'm going to turn, now I'm going to push all the seam. This seam, I'm going to push it inside and sew on top of here now i'm going to sew here i'll sew in between the skirt and the band i'm not going to sew on top of the band or i'm not going to sew on top of the band i'm going to sew in between the skirt and the band the thread will be inside you're not going to see the thread and as i'm sewing it it will also be sewing this part it will be sewing this part now after sewing that after sewing now before i sew i'm going to turn this i'm going to turn this like this i have half inch seam allowance here i'm going to turn this like this and sew on top when i sew i'm going to turn it back just like i have here i've done this one look at what i did after sewing here i pushed it inside the same thing i did here that's what i'm going to do here so after doing that, I'm going to attach my zipper. Now this is my zipper allowance. Now this is my zipper allowance. This is my zipper allowance. So after doing that, I'm going to attach my zipper. My zip is an invisible zip I'm using. is an invisible zipper. So I'm going to attach it. Now there's something I did here too. So I hit this, this seam 
I stitched it. I folded it inside and stitched it. Just to hide the seam. I had to fold it inside and stitch it a little so you're not seeing any seam. So that is it. The next thing I'll do is to, I'm going to finish the band and attach the zipper. So this is my skirt. I'm done sewing. I've closed the back and attached my zipper and I've also finished the band now if you look at the band you see that you're not seeing the thread because the thread is inside now this is it this is the inside this is what it looks like now this is the inside and this is the outside so we are through if you found this tutorial helpful Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And feel free to follow me on Instagram at Lizama Stitches. And you can also share your work with us on Facebook at Sewing Tutorials by Lizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.